All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me some questions about um, how to do these exponents in uh, in IXL. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit with this adding and subtracting uh, polynomials. So we have 9r plus 2 plus 4r squared plus 2. So I have 4r squared. I don't have any other r squared, so I know my answer is going to have 4r squared in it. So you see this little exponent button down here, and you want to click it right away. But remember, it's 4r squared. So the only thing that has the exponent is the r, which means you need to wait to click the button until you're ready to do the r. So it's 4, then the exponent stuff, r squared. Then you can go ahead and do the rest of it. So we have 9r, no other r, so it stays 9r. And then we have 2 plus 2, and that is going to get us 4. Dang straight, it's terrific. All right, let's try another one just to make sure everybody's on the same page. 9z squared minus 4z squared. So I have 9 bananas minus 4 bananas. I have 5 of them. So 5z squared is what I need. But the only thing that is getting the exponent is the z. So I need to type the 5 first. Then I can use my exponent button. So z squared. Then we can go ahead and finish the problem. 9z minus 9z is no z's. And 6 minus 5 is 1. So 5z squared plus 1 should be it. Cross your fingers. Dang straight. All right, let's do a couple more just to let you see it one more time. You can stop if you figured out how to use the exponent button right now. Or you can say I might make a stupid mistake, and then you'll be able to see me get a bad grade. All right, haha, -ha, here's another one. 2x squared plus 8x plus 2 minus 7x plus 1. I have 2x squared. I don't have any other x squareds to subtract, so I'm just going to have 2x squared in my answer. Again, x is the only thing that gets the exponent, so I need to type 2 first. Then I can use my exponent button. x squared, 8x minus 7x is 1x. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2x squared plus x plus 1 is the quadratic trinomial. That is my solution. Look at me using my vocab words. All right, so you guys should now be able to use that. If you have any other questions about it, let me know. You're going to need to use it a lot in another IXL set that's coming up next week that has to do with monomials. So be sure you are familiar with that exponent button.